You may have heard Muslims claim that Jews and Muslims have always lived in peace since the rise of Islam, and it was only until the Zionists of the 20th century that caused the relations to fail. The Jewish people, from the very advent of Islam in Arabia, all the way up to the 1930s, coexisted with the Muslims peacefully. In mm. fact, they felt protected, they felt that they are prosperous, they felt that they are safe. You can always count on Muslims to lie and distort history. We can go to countless examples in Islamic literature, starting with the Quran itself, to debunk this myth. However, what we'll do is look at what Maimonides says. Maimonides, someone who they mention and talk about in this discussion on this very topic. So Maimonides stands as a towering figure in Jewish history. He's called the second Moses. He's also called the Rambam. So he was heavily inspired by Muslim philosophy mm -hmm. of the time. He wrote in the Arabic language. He was pretty much a Muslim philosopher. Oh yeah. Without I mean, being a Muslim. The arguments are very similar to be honest. Wow. They really have no concern for the truth at all. Contrary to the narrative that they're trying to push, Maimonides actually proves the opposite point. Let's hear what Maimonides himself says in his own words in the following citation, which can be found in his epistle to Yemen, written in the 12th century. God has hurled us in the midst of this people, the Arabs, who have persecuted us severely and passed baneful and discriminatory legislation against us. As scripture has forewarned us, our enemies themselves shall judge us. Never did a nation molest, degrade, debase, and hate us as much as they. Note the distinction between Qadar and the children of Ishmael. For the madman and imbecile, that is, Muhammad, the madman of the lineage of the children of Qadar, as they readily admit. Daniel alludes only to our humiliation and degradation, like the dust and threshing suffered at the hands of the Arabs, may they speedily be vanquished. Similarly, our sages instructed us to bear the prevarications and preposterousness of Ishmael in silence. No matter how much we suffer and elect to remain at peace with them, they stir up strife and sedition, as David predicted. I am all peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Does that sound like he thought Jews had it best under Muslim rule and lived in peace with them? In fact, he said that no matter how much Jews try to live in peace with Muslims, that Muslims always want war and strife instead, and that he believed this was a curse, a judgment from God because of the many sins of the Jewish people, that they were tormented with living under Muslim rule, and that it was worse than living under any other people. As you can see, Maimonides, the very person they mention in their discussion on the topic, refutes them completely. Beautiful. I think, that I think that's fantastic. I think this is really good information people from the non-Muslim community outside of Islam. Now they can really look at Islam properly.